Right. Um, Cass has um, Lucifer in his scopes. He is bound and determined to find him. He's pissed off that um, that he made such a sacrifice to Lucifer at the end of last season, only to have that be ultimately fruitless. Um, so he's got a bee in his bonnet for Lucifer, and he's going after him pretty hardcore. Um, he's being forced to make compromises once again in terms of his um, his uh, his allies in the in the hunt for Lucifer. Like with angels? Or? I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> You've asked enough. But does Cass have his mojo? Yeah, he's got his mojo yeah. more or less. His wings are still. I mean, we haven't address the issue of his wings yet, so it's possible that his wings are repaired, but as far as I know, he, he still is unable to teleport. What is going to be Castile's part with uh, Sam, looking for Sam now that we saw a little bit of the trail? Oh, he's he's uh, a part of that search party. Would there be any like, ramifications for um, having had Lucifer in cast, or will he not have any ramifications? Like, no, there's no, there's no residual um, illnesses or anything um, from this kid. I think that we, I think I've recovered all but psychologically. Alright, well, we're going to look at the stairs now, in the aftermath of the fog and the darkness and everything happening at the mountain. We're largely taking the focus back to Earth, um, at least in the beginning of the season, so... Um, we're not, we haven't been exploring a whole lot what's going on with the politics of heaven, um, but we're, we're keeping it going. Um, um, I was wondering if you could just discuss what the fandom of Supernatural itself means to you, because it's grown steadily over the years and now it's a really big thing. Um, the fandom seems to be growing um, from my vantage point. I don't know if that's true or not, but it seems to be. Um, and it's it's totally remarkable, and it was completely unexpected uh, to me when I when I started on the show. I didn't really know anything about Supernatural, and at that point, even season four, the, the fandom for Supernatural was um, was very active, but it was nascent. It was you know it was still finding its own footing, and now it is a full blown social cultural phenomenon to be reckoned with. Um, I have had a tremendous amount of um, satisfaction in playing in one way or another with the fandom um, and I guess working with the fandom. I, I started uh, Random Acts, which is a nonprofit, with the fans and that has gone on to do some really great projects that I'm really proud to have been a part of. Um, we just had a group just a couple, uh, 10 days ago, two weeks ago, come back from Nicaragua where we're almost finished building a high school there that Random Act totally funded. Um, we built a, an orphanage in Haiti, which is amazing. And then I'm also doing Gishwiz, which is the greatest international scavenger the world has ever seen. And we've got tens of thousands of people participating in that in a hundred different countries, doing really amazing things and breaking Guinness World Records and having a blast. Um, so that's something that I'm also like delighted to have uh, seen born into the world because of the Supernatural fandom.